Frankenstein. Waiting for your monster? Very funny, Tim. Did Godzilla tell you that one? Godzilla cannot talk. He can only roar. Well, except in the film Godzilla vs. Gigan, but th that doesn't count because he can't talk to people. Hand over the government secret, Wade, or Monster Boy gets it. <laughs> you know, we better get going. My daddy can't take us up to working away just the last But he still did give us money to pizza, though. This is going to be the greatest sleepover ever. Speaking of your dad, did you swipe anything from those private tours that would get your dad killed if the government found out about? You go on. You know, Greg, I did. And it's going to blow your guys' minds. You bring a movie to me. I indeed did. I can't wait to see this. Mm, not really. <laughs> no, I Hurry up, nerd. It's Alive from 1969. A film that actually reuses the suit from another film called Creature of Destruction, which in itself is a remake of a film called The Sheepies. A popular... Po yeah, the costume of Sheepies is... Oh, man. Hey, guys, wait up! Come on, wait. Stop right there, Greg and uh, Greg's friends. You are up to any trouble, are you? Don't you dare lie to me, boys. I can see right through that. Listen, Birdstraw. Listen, Officer Birdstraw. I ain't like that anymore. I was tying a toilet seat to a light and sang on a fire and sang it down a river ain't being like that. It was for my dad. That man died three years ago. Whose fault was that? Listen, uh, I gotta get going. Greg, I'm sorry. I just don't want you to come like your father. Then keep your gun in the way from me. I see you still haven't taken down the posters I put up when I had to stay here for a week. Can you take them back now? Ah, uh, sorry. My house is still getting sprayed for termites. I have to stay in a hotel currently. Can I at least take them down? No way! You don't even know the proper folding techniques without getting them ripped! Of course. Alright, Wade. Let's see the good stuff. Alright, this might shock you. And it sounds unbelievable. But it is all true. A, a bottle? It's not the bottle that matters. It's what's inside of it. You see, inside this canister holds a deadly virus. But unlike other deadly viruses, this one doesn't kill people. Nothing like that could possibly exist. That can't occur naturally, and science hasn't even come far enough. Oh, you're right. It isn't scientific, and it's not natural. At least not to this planet. So, inside that bottle is a space virus? Is this some sort of joke? Well, the government certainly wants to be the thing. Accidentally sent this virus down to the earth. More specifically, a small town in Pennsylvania. The corpses started rising from their graves and started to devour the locals. And after they killed all the survivors and contained the virus, they went out to call every radio, newspaper, and television broadcast station. Claiming that on their investigation, they discovered it was a War of the Worlds type joke, and everyone believed it. But some knew the truth, never stating it publicly, fearing that they would be killed. But that didn't stop them from passing the stories on to their family, and those family members would use it as inspiration for things that they make, such as films and games. That was by far the stupidest thing I have ever heard in my life. 
I promise you, it's true. Maybe you're just... Whoa, 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 let's stop talking about this. We're here to have fun, after all. Well, why don't we just have some fun? You know what, Tim? You're correct. Let's just relax and have some fun. Yeah! Yay! Yeah? I'm going to fly out the window! What? Greg, wait, don't do it! Did you guys really think I'm dumb enough to- <laughs> Oh my god! Greg! He's dead! What are we gonna do? He just will be alive, let's go see. Kind of. The worst is in my stomach. I'm absolutely starving. You know what? I just remembered. I need to order the pizza. Let's go inside. Can we finally watch It's Alive? You know what? After <coughs> that horrifying experience, I'm ready to watch your mind-numbing <coughs> sci-fi. <coughs> should be here soon. My, my dad gave me the extra money for the extra fast delivery. Guys, quiet down! You're 
missing major plot points. Why did the first extra fast pizza in years have to be ordered on the day right before I got my first driver's license? Oh. Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Oh my gosh! No! 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 Ah! No! Come on, guys, you're missing! Huh? Oh, that must be the pizza. Finally! Tell you what's going on? There's a monster in this house! It could be a guy in a suit! <laughs> that doesn't smell like a guy in a suit! Somehow, the canister broke open, and the dead have come back to life. Close the door. <coughs> oh, guys! Oh! Pin it down! Pin it down! Knock down! What are you hitting it down for? <laughs> How is this happening? Well, maybe, science boy, you shouldn't have flown the virus! He's gonna turn into a zombie. We must destroy his brain. I haven't even turned yet! Maybe it doesn't turn! This can be a slow process. Dude, aren't you overreacting just a bit? You just like, uh, cut off my hand! Yeah, that always seems to work! I've seen far enough walking dead, so the virus just spread way beyond your hand now. Wait, please, don't do this, don't do this! Don't do this! Don't do Do you know what you've done? What had to be done? You murdered him! He had a family! Under these circumstances, probably not. No way. What? He killed me. I'm gonna tear you limb from them! How many times do you have to say that? He's still alive anyway. But he's undead! And whose fault was that? Hey, you grotesque glutton! 
I've got some fresh blood for you right on the floor.
Wade, you just reminded me why I even came here in the first place. To find your father. He might know something about this. Please tell me he hasn't been eaten. No, he's at the lab, which is miles away from here. I could call him. Those things have already cut the phone line. We're gonna have to go to him. Well, how many of them are out there? Every cemetery in town, I tell you. What? But the canister was small! Well, whatever this stuff is, it seems to duplicate on contact with the air, and it does it fast. In fact, all the town's air is polluted by it, and the trees are producing it too. I don't know if it's spread any place else, but it might soon. Wait, if all the air is polluted, then how are we not zombies? It affects you if you're dead. Breathing it in or getting bent won't do any good. We better get out of here. But how? We have no method of transportation that won't get us killed. Well, I do have the keys to my dad's car. As far as I know, these things have no weaknesses. I've wasted all my bullets trying to stop them. I have one left. The closest thing I've seen to a weakness is hitting the brain, which seems to temporarily take them down. Well, I guess not everything you can solve with your bullets. Why are you- Listen! If we want to get through this together, we have to forget our anger towards each other. You're right, that almost got out of here. Get down! What was that? It's a cowboy! Is this some sort of joke? What are we gonna do? About the other door. But we may walk into a horde of the dead. We either risk walking out into a horde of the dead or we have a 100% chance of being gunned down by John Wayne out there. Well, let's see if it really is anything. Boom! Shoot. I can only hear us. I can't see. It doesn't have any eyes. Last hall, you slummy. Who shot the gun? Classic model. A little small, but it will do. This place seems familiar. All right, flashlights out. Oh come on! It's my school. Let's move to the playground. It's safer there than out in the streets. Race you, Greg. Oh, shit. Poopy.
that son of a bitch. Greg! Wayne, are you dead yet? What's your problem? You abandoned us! Bird's draw is dead! Oh, so I see nothing to value with law. What's your problem? I mean, first you don't let go of your grudge when you have to work together with us, then you abandon me and leave me behind for no reason. <laughs> Why should I care? You're useless anyway. My dad always said that you weren't tough, and you know what? He was right. You're weak. And if it weren't for me, you'd be dead. are the worst human being I've ever met. You keep taking advice from your dead criminal father. That's why Tim and Bird's Draw are dead. You murdered them. Ah! <laughs> My dad's not dead anymore, thanks to you. Also, I'm not even a human being anymore. What are you talking about? Don't you see that it all adds up? Me falling out the window, not dying, having a huge ha appetite, and the zombies not attacking me? Are you saying that? Yes, Wade. I'm undead. And I'm still hungry. And now, my meal is right in front of me! You can't get away that easily. Don't go away the inevitable way. Don't pump the fear of being dead. After you get over the pain of being partially eaten. Ah! You're making a mistake, Wade. When you run, I get angrier. And all that'll do will make your death slower. Come out, little lady! my dinner. I'm not scared of you anymore. Well then you aren't very smart. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so foolish. How stupid can you be? How stupid. You are unbearably pathetic. This apocalypse ain't over until I say it's over. You just said it's over. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 Most of the bodies, we then incinerated them. 
I'm pretty sure we've collected most of the virus. As much as possible? Um... Oh, well, I'm still waiting on a status report for that. We're doomed. Trust me, that stuff spreads a wildfire. I I'm sure we have it under control. I know I need it for something. <laughs>